Here we go. Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find the discriminant when you have a quadratic that's not in the form we want it to. So remember, why is this a quadratic? Well, remember, for it to be a quadratic, we have to have that x squared. And we can always write a quadratic in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And for this problem, we're setting it equal to 0 because we're going to want to find the answers and the solutions. Um, however, we're not actually going to get that far. We're just going to actually find the discriminant. But it's important for you to understand, though, when you put it in this, we want to have it in this quadratic form. Therefore, I want it to set it equal to 0. So I don't want to set it equal to negative 13. It has to be set equal to 0 for us to use the quadratic formula, which in turn is actually going to let us find the discriminant. So the first thing I need to do is put it in the format that I would use to find the discriminant. All right, so now I have a quadratic set equal to zero, and that tells me to find the solution, I could factor it, complete the square, and this term we're going to use the quadratic formula. But before we even go through doing all the quadratic formula, we're going to use the discriminant. And the discriminant is going to be the value of what number we're going to take the square root of. And that's going to tell us a lot about our solutions in our problem. So let's just go and remember, what are we going to take, what is under the square root? Well, it's b squared minus 4 times a times c. And in this problem, my b is going to be a negative 7 minus 4 times a, which is 11, times c, which is a negative 3. Okay, so now I have the square root of negative number is 49. And let's see, I'm going to be now uh, subtract or actually adding it because a negative 4 times a negative 3 is going to be... Um, uh, a 4 times 3 is going to be 12, and then times 11 is going to be uh, um, it, uh, 4 times 12, positive 12, there you go, it's positive 12 times 11. Well, uh, 11 times 11 is 121, and so uh, 12 11s would be 132. So it's going to be plus 132. Sorry, I have a little brain fart in there. So when you add those up, you get the square root of 181. So now I need to take a look and say, is 181, is that a square number or not? Well, it's close to a square number, uh, but it's not a square number. It's going to be somewhere between uh, the square root of uh, one, uh, 13 squared, which is 169, and 14 squared, which is 196. So this is actually not a square number. Since it's not a square number, we're not going to have two rational roots. However, we will have real numbers. They're just going to be irrational numbers. So I'm going to have two irrational um, solutions. And so that just tells you when you do the rest of your quadratic formula, you just need, need to know that you're going to want to keep it um, in terms of your square root. You might have to simplify, but you're going to want to keep it in that term, so therefore you're not having to uh, approximate any rational numbers. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that helped you out. Thanks.